Let's go through every movement one time and see how well it realigns us. Start with your feet about shoulder width apart and your hands relaxed by your sides. Your hands float out to the sides, fold in and sink the chi all the way down. Now the hands turn palm up and lift up the front of the body and reach out overhead, extending your body all the way up. And here, as we hold up the heavens like a pillar, we're getting the shoulders to realign themselves and then relax all the way down. So I'm stretching out the muscles and the corrective, connective tissue on both sides of my shoulders. Reach up, breathe up, and all the way down. Now I can even add a little bit of a squat if I want to. And again, the idea is that I learn how to lower my body while not changing the position of my spine. One more time, all the way down. Beautiful. Now take a wide step out to the side, cross the wrists, and draw the bow to shoot the vulture. I sink down, and again, I lower my body while keeping the alignment of my knees over my feet, learning to sink my hips evenly on both sides, and of course, go up and down with my spine in a neutral position. Let's come back to center. Both hands turn palm up and float up the center of the body, one hand turning to the sky, one hand turning to the earth, and reach out, penetrating heaven and earth. Here we go, exercising both sides of the body, because in real life we do reach, stretch, using one side more than another, but this brings us into alignment, then back to center, and all the way down, and we'll save the rest of the eight pieces of brocade for another day. Today is kind of an easy one, well, they are all pretty easy. You're doing such a great job anyway. But join me now. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart and hands relaxed by your sides. And we'll just begin with sinking the chi, just to get the energy centered, grounded, and balanced. Bring the hands into the heart and just relax all the way down. One more time. Breathe in. The hands float up out to your sides. Fold into the heart and breathe out. And the hands drift all the way down. Now today's movement is called the wise owl looks behind. And basically you're going to look behind. <laughs> it starts by turning the head. So the head turns until it basically is out of range of motion. You, you want to be comfortable. And once your head is turned as far as it can comfortably go, then you turn your shoulders. Until again, your shoulders have turned as far as you can comfortably go. And then you add your hips. They turn to take the whole body around. And by this time, you are looking behind yourself like the wise old owl. Now you're going to bring your whole body back, starting with the hips. The hips come back first, and then the shoulders come back to center, and then finally your head comes back to center. Now we'll do the other side. So the head and neck turn, looking as far as you can comfortably turn. The shoulders add in, and finally the hips turn, and again, I'm looking behind myself. Then the hips come back, the shoulders come back, and the head comes back. Now, this movement, I've just broken it down into segments, but it should be very continuous. So, let the head turn, the shoulders turn, the hips turn. I'm looking behind myself, the hips come back, the shoulders come back, the head comes back. And right away, the head turns in the opposite direction adding the shoulders, adding the hips, and then bring the hips back, the shoulders back, and the head back. Notice that the head lingers as long as possible looking behind you until the shoulders return to their position and then the head comes back. Now, we coordinate this with the breath. The breath comes in, and then exhale as you turn, turning the head and exhaling, turning the shoulders, still exhaling, turning the hips, still exhaling. And then inhale, and as you inhale, the hips come back, still breathing in, the shoulders come back, still breathing in, the head comes back. And then you take that breath and breathe it out, turning shoulders, hips, and breathe in, hips, shoulders, lingering head. The wise old owl looks behind. One more time on both sides. Breathing in, coming back in with the shoulders and the head, and then breathing out with the head, the shoulders and the hips, looking all the way behind as far as the eye can see, and back to center. Take one last breath, 
and exhale out. And that's movement number four, exercise number four from the eight pieces of brocade, halfway through. Today's movement is called punching with two fists while looking angrily. It's an exercise that uses a deeper stance, two punching and changes of the eyes. You'll love it. Let's start with the feet about shoulder width apart and hands relaxed by your sides. And we'll just get started with a little sinking the chi to get the energy centered and grounded. All the way floating down in front of the body. And one more time, let's get the breath, do the work, breathe in, float in, and breathe out. Now, let's take a wide step, stepping out to the side, nice and wide, about double shoulder width, and the two hands make fists that pull into the sides of the hip and sink down into what we call a horse riding stance. Now, I begin with my right fist, which slowly punches out, and as I punch, it squeezes tighter and tighter and tighter, reaching, punching, punching, and as I squeeze my fist and punch out farther, my eyes get bigger and bigger. This is the looking angrily part. Eyes get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then release the fist and come back in, relaxing the eyes as I go. The other hand now begins to punch out, squeezing tighter and tighter and tighter, and the eyes get bigger and bigger and bigger as I punch, and then release and pull back in. Now the breath comes in as the fist comes in, and the breath goes out, exhaling as I punch out, squeezing the fist, the eyes get bigger, and then relax the face and eyes, inhale, exhale. And slowly bring the fist back in, exhale, punching out. By the way, I'm in a fairly low horseback riding stance. You can stand up a little bit higher if you want to. Punch out, gather the fist back in, breathe in. Notice that the fist extends out in a vertical fashion, so the thumb is kind of on top and then release, pull back on in one more time. Exhale, punching out as you go, eyes looking angrily, and then relax the face and bring it back on in. The legs straighten as the hands float down by the sides. I usually say heel toe the feet together a little bit to safely step in and relax. Today we're gonna to learn a new movement. It's called bouncing on the toes seven times to drive away all illnesses. It's a long sounding name, but it sounds a little better in Chinese. Anyway, the story behind this movement is that if you practice this, the moment you feel a cold or the flu coming on, you'll get rid of it in no time. Anyway, we might try it. Let's just try learning the movement together and we'll start the way we always do, standing with your feet about shoulder width apart, hands relaxed by your sides. And let's start with sinking the chi, just to get all the energy centered and grounded. Hands float into the heart, and knees all the way down. And one more time, just breathe in, getting the breath to do the work for us, hands float in, and breathing out all the way. Now let's bring the feet together, and hands just stay relaxed by your sides, and you lift up onto the balls of your feet, onto the toes, and then bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, and hold it up there, and then just drop onto your heels. Now, when you drop onto your heels this way, you feel your whole body just shake, which is part of the intention of this exercise. Now, very important, if you are in good alignment, your head floating up and your tailbone pointing right down, your spine nice and neutral, then the drop and the shake is completely beneficial. But if you're out of alignment, the drop in the shake might give you a little bit of an ache or pain here and there. So make sure that you are in perfect alignment when you do this one. All right, let's try it again. Come up onto the balls of your feet and bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, and hold it and drop. And the whole body shakes. One more time, breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, and hold it, and drop. <laughs> Very nice. And then once more, let's sink the chi. Just bring it all back to center. Ah. 
Let's do it together. This is going to be fun. Start out with your feet about shoulder width apart and hands relaxed by your sides. Then sink the chi. The hands float out to the outside, drift up to the shoulder level, and then gently float into the heart and ease on down the front of the body. You know this part, don't you? Breathe in, hands float up, and fold in, and breathe out. And you can make that big sighing noise if you want to. We talked about that before. It's okay. It gets all the air out of the body. Float in one more time and float all the way down. Ah, nice. Now today we want to take a step out to the side in a nice wide step. And then both hands float above again and then into the heart. And then sink all the way down, bringing your hands to your hips, to your thighs right here. From here, we're going to wag the tail. Lean over to the side and drop the head down in front. And now your hips go side to side. And at the same time you're wagging the tail, you're shaking the head. Let's come back up to center. And then back down again. Ah, just ease into this position. Tip it over to that direction again one more time. Look down at the floor and wag the tail to the other side. Tip sideways, the shoulder into the thigh. And come back up to center and sink back down. Now, you don't have to sink down very far. You can actually stand up a little bit taller if that's more comfortable. Tip back over to the side, and you don't have to tip all the way horizontal, parallel to the floor. Just a little bit's fine. Tip over to look at the ground. Wag the tail out behind you. And tip the body sideways. Bring the body back center. Now, the actual traditional name of this movement is wagging the tail and shaking the head to drive the fire out of the heart. Look down at the floor, and I don't know, but I can't do wagging the tail without smiling. So maybe that's what they mean by driving the fire out of the heart. One more time. Over to the side, look down, wag the tail over to the center, bring it back up sink back down and then straighten the legs nice and easy so nice bring the hand the feet heel toe in together and let's sink the chi one more time just to bring all the energy back to the center and relax and it starts pretty much the same way that all the movements have started so far so join me why don't you feet about shoulder width apart hands relaxed by your sides and sink the chi just to get all the energy centered and grounded floating into the heart and drifting all the way down. One more time, breathe in. And as the breath comes in, the hands float up and then fold into the body and breathe all the way down. Beautiful. Now the hands are going to reach out into space, lifting up higher and higher. There's a little bit of a bend as you look up to see the sky and then come on back down, hands floating down in front of your body. Then tuck behind the arms, the small of your back, and drag on down your back and your thighs. You bend your knees to come all the way down, brushing around your feet, and then lift back up again, brushing the sky all the way to the top, and then bring it back down. Tuck behind the back, right under your arms, and down the length of the body. Now, you don't have to come down all the way to the floor. You can just bend down as much as is comfortably possible. Don't even have to get your head below your knees. That's okay. Just lean on down. Bend your knees to come around your feet because you want to bend your knees to straighten up to brush the sky. And breathe out, coming back down. Tucking behind the back, all the way down. Connecting your body with the earth and then connecting your body with the sky. Remember we talked about that man is in the middle between earth and sky. So one more time, all the way down, brush around, breathe into the heavens and breathing back down, hands float down by your sides and nice and easy, relax.